Yo, what is up guys, Shockwave here, and welcome to a brand new video. Today, we are here on the Hunter, and earlier today, the crew uh, released a new handgun. Um, this handgun in particular is uh, the highest caliber so far, and it is also um, free for everyone to uh, use um, in the Hunter if, they, if you guys play... Uh, before December 20th so it's kind of like Christmas it's kind of a little apology for uh, all the inconvenience that's been going on in the game here recently so good thing we hear some elk because that's what we're gonna be going after today man I, I marked that guy really well didn't I um, so here here we go the 454 revolver handgun um, here you guys can see it in this view it's a very clean looking handgun very high power the iron sights on it is uh, really good now the only thing with this um, the only thing with this revolver is that it's basically like just carrying another rifle you can only kill bear, bison, moose, Roosevelt elk um, hogs and some other things that I might have missed out there so no deer or anything like that so remember to still carry your bow and everything um, or at least a lower powered rifle but here you can see it looks very nice very large um, handgun and uh, let's go ahead and put it to use on some Roosevelt elk so for today's hunt we're here on red feather um, I've hunted a few bison with this already and it seems to be very nice just like the rifle nice stopping power the reason I'm making a review or whatever on it is because uh, I just really want to let you guys know that they're giving this out for free and it's an amazing deal and you need to try to get it. Uh, the The way that you get it is just like I said earlier, play, uh, just hunt one time um, before December 20th and you'll automatically get it for free. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead, go over here to this Roosevelt Elk and see what this thing has to offer seems like it's only one male over here right now maybe he's got a herd with him maybe he doesn't either way we're gonna kill something I haven't been hunting uh red feather a lot here recently actually I've only been hunting white heart for white tail uh, I've been going after another non typical or another rare been killing a lot of really nice white tails but no more uh, non typicals or anything yet but I'll keep you guys up to date on that just a quick tip when hunting elk uh, if you kinda lose where they are give it a couple calls and they will sometimes give you a little communication call and that will of course let you know where they're at make sure you don't spook them so another thing about hunting elk uh, is you wanna kind of do equal work you don't wanna just run straight to them uh, make them walk towards you a little ways and then just take slow little series of movements towards them this way you won't spook the animals that much so as you saw whenever I was at the lodge I marked where this guy was and uh, don't always rely right on your hunter mate because sometimes it is wrong sometimes well it's not wrong it's just not as accurate as you think sometimes and um, you might walk up on the animal uh, faster than you thought but in this case see the guy down here doesn't look too bad but he's not a trophy or anything so when hunting elk once again uh, don't shoot the first thing that you see go ahead and scan out the area there could be a bigger one around or an albino or something you don't want to mess up on that you can't always track them down but it's better to see it before it really happens so now getting a better look at this guy he's 
not very big at all but that's perfect for what we're doing here so we'll go ahead and give them another call let them know that we're here and we'll lay down and start to get into position make sure this is our elk I'm gonna try to get a clear shot on him and hopefully show you guys the power of this handgun it's honestly crazy that it is a handgun in this caliber but you'll see what I'm talking about in a second I love the sounds of the Roosevelt elk you always want to make sure that it is the same elk by the way so that's why you see me always checking there could be one hiding behind the tree somewhere so he's getting a bit closer now we're using the iron sights He's going to cut up and give us a perfect shot here. So there we go. Put a shot in him. And down he goes. So let's go ahead and see what kind of blood we have. It should be a long shot if I aim correctly. So another quick tip here. Um, when tracking your animals, uh, as you can see here, a lot of blood came out of this guy in the first uh, the first little blood spot here. And you can see there's lighter blood, and then there's a bit darker over here a little ways. Um, well, there was. But this lighter blood means that I hit a vital. So it should be lungs or heart every time you see the light blood. So another way to tell that it is lungs or heart shot is that he will bleed all the way until he dies most of the time so here he is down just like I said left lung 203 not a very big elk but definitely something to uh, be proud of with this handgun um, so there you go that's pretty much it for this video I just wanted to let you guys really know uh, about this handgun just make sure that you guys uh, knew what was going on, knew that you could get this handgun for free and um... you're in a very weird spot for a trophy shot here so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that one off but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video uh... I know it was a short one and you guys probably already know about this but either way I thought I would let you guys you know in on this and uh... hopefully you all did enjoy if you did remember to hit that like button and if you're new around here, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.